Hi, welcome to Wiki Tiki and Kashi and Product. This is Venkat here. Like today, we are going to discuss fantastic topic that's your computer hacking and the computer security part. How you are going to safeguard your computers from the hackers. So that's the one we are going to focus. And uh, let's move on to the session. So before that, like we got lots lots of videos in my YouTube channel Wiki Tiki. So if you if you miss any of my videos, just go to my channel and you are able to see my videos. And we got two channels over here. Like one is Wiki Tiki. The other one is like Kashu Venkat. So we got two channels. So Wiki Tiki and Kashu Venkat. So if you didn't like, if you want to learn some like lot of technology, Wiki Tiki and lot of engineering stuffs and uh, like a study materials, you got this channel. So if you want to subscribe my channel, please subscribe and click the bell symbol so that you will get regular notifications. Apart from that. If you're looking for any other new technology or any other type of videos, yes, I can do it for you. Just post in the comments of my channel this particular video. I'm ready to do it for you. And here is my Instagram account. If you want to contact me, yes, you can contact me. Click that follow button, and over there I got the contact number also. So you can contact me for any queries, any doubts. I'm ready to help you. Okay, so here's my Instagram account, and like uh, if you want to see my technical content. So in the case like just go to my website wikitiki.com slash tutorial you are able to see lots and lots of ethical hacking tutorials than it or free of cost and like uh, i was awarded as a microsoft most valuable profession on sql security and also like uh, cloud computing okay so anyway like uh, i'm a typical microsoft most valuable professional award winner okay anyway like, let's move on to the session so welcome to the world of computer security Yes, uh, if you talk about computer hacking, so if you talk about computer hacking, what kind of hacking can be done on your computer? The one is like they will affect the operating system, they will corrupt the operating system. That is one way of hacking. The other thing is like uh, hacking the usernames and passwords. Okay, so maybe like a Gmail username password or account banking account details or something like that or Windows username and password. So account hacking, the other one is spying. So they will monitor, the hackers will monitor like what you are doing. They'll try to uh, like monitor you and and they will they may corrupt your files also. So my D drive or E drive it got corrupted. I couldn't recover the very important files. So these are some of the possibilities of hacking and finally browser level hacking. So attacking the browser and hijacking the browsers or injecting the viruses or worms in the browser so that what happens sir? The problem is like they will be monitoring you. They can have some uh, adware. Sir, I open one website sir, but it's opening multiple websites sir. So adware can be injected, spyware, malware or something like that. We are going to talk about those things later. Okay, but somehow the computer will be hijacked. So I'm going to talk about like uh, how we can secure this kind of hacking. So if we talk about the levels of computer security, this is how we are able to maintain the security levels. So the first thing is like you can have the firewalls, you can have intrusion detection system, an automatic system which will identify if there is an intruder enters. So someone enters into my network or computers immediately like uh, an automatic email or something like that. It will show you like say actually like you can see such kind of uh, security in the banking sectors. So things like. Um, we used to get a message like if someone logged in or something like that. So every time like once uh, like uh, something someone logged in into my uh, bank automatically you will be getting uh, uh, a message like if someone have logged in into this. You can see it here. Okay, you can see it here. This is my uh, uh, like uh, I, I got my message. I got my message here. So someone logged in into the system. So someone logged in. So something like uh, so like um, you have logged into internet banking on this date. If you are not logged in, send SMS disable to deactivate. So I'm getting a message. So that's how. So an intrusion detection system is like it will detect. It will detect automatically. Like uh, if there is any intruder enters, automatically it will detect. It will send to you. And this is like IPS. So it's Internet Protocol Security. So like you can have an IPS system also. So IPS security is one other one and apart from that you can uh, yeah IPS security yes yes so like it's intrusion prevention system as I told you like you got the firewall in the first page you got the intrusion detection system intrusion prevention system and the antivirus
So this will detect, hey, there is a guy who is going to attack me and I how I'm going to prevent it. So these are the things will be there. And finally, you can have your antivirus in your computers to restrict it. Okay, so over here from the public internet, this is how the access will come. So first, I authorize a clean traffic. So automatically it will reach the target. Unauthorized services. If there is any unauthorized people, sir, like 10 IP addresses are there, sir. Only 10 IP addresses can access this particular computer. Oh, 11th IP address coming up. Stop it. Unauthorized services. If there is any malicious activity, deleting the file. Installing something without my permission or something like that. If there is anything, so automatically it will be detected. Intrusion detection will be happening. And finally, the viruses are there or something like that. Intrusion detection. If there is any unwanted things are happening, malicious activity, it will be detected and prevented. And prevented by this intrusion prevention system. And finally, you got the virus or something like that. Yes, my antivirus will take care of removing it so this is how the levels of security we are able to maintain for a network for the company or for a computer okay so yeah so before going with my session i want to share a great news our company kashu info we are providing kashu info certified ethical hacking expert so we are giving this kind of certifications and training so like uh, we are covering lots and lots of as complete aspects of uh, like uh, ethical hacking concepts so networking system hacking file server website mobile prevention penetration testings viruses and security email hacking and other stuff wi-fi hacking finally there are two operating systems available the one is like uh, Kali Linux, the other one is Parrot OS. So I'm going to teach you the entire penetration testing part and typical ethical hacking courses in a company. Here is a contact number to contact me. And apart from that, we are providing networking training for the students and professionals. Kashu certified networking specialist with complete CCNA and other stuff. If you're really interested, you can contact me at any time. Yes, it's time for me to move on to the next level. MS config. This is the first one I'm going to talk about. What is this MS config, sir? We talk about MS config. It's a Microsoft system configurations. The Microsoft system configuration says, what are these? What are the like uh, services or what are the uh, like uh, executables are starting up, starting up while the window is getting loaded? While the windows is getting loaded, what are the things I need to focus, sir, to make my system secure? To make my system the performance is damn good everything is done by this ms config command so just go to windows so over here i'm typing a run okay so run over here this is a run window moment where i'm typing ms config once you type it yes you got the general one you can you can decide your setup normal setup you want a diagnostic you want to validate the setups and everything you got the boot options available the services and over here you got the startup Okay, so these MS config, I'll tell you in detail in my next uh, upcoming video. Don't worry. Okay, anyway, like okay, these are the services available. So while the Windows is getting started, you can see the status enabled. The rest of the things are disabled. While the Windows is getting started, what are the softwares you want to be enabled? So in the right side bottom, the time is there, the like system time is there. You can see the lot of uh, like a lot of EXs and everything is there. That is called as your startup icons. So you can see that that is a virus. It is injected in my computer. So it is an injected in my computer. Okay, that is a virus. I've disabled it. And this is the one I disabled it. Okay, so this is this is a typical virus. It's injected in my computer. So like a startup so every time once the computer is getting started the virus will get activated this is a problem i face in my comp in my computer this computer okay so we should be really careful so this startup is really important to like uh, to like uh, to analyze whether any monitoring is there so one of my students he called me so like uh, my system i feel like my system is monitored my system is hijacked Okay, so in that case, like I started logging into his computer and started viewing it, what could be the problem. So I found that there is some unwanted executable. It's running in the startup. Okay, so once again, I'm telling you what is startup. Startup is nothing but once the Windows is getting started, what are the executables? What are the programs should start with Windows? So we are we are not aware what are the programs started. So we can find it using this MS config. 
yeah it's time for me to talk about this task manager this is the one thing which i'm going to talk about task manager is a very very important one so to uh, to maintain the performance of the computer since like considering like my computer is hanging so my computer is not working in that case what i can do so i can go to this task manager to check out which process is taking more memory which process is taking which is which process is creating bottleneck for my com uh, computers everything i'll try to track down and we'll try to resolve it okay that's how your task manager works so the shortcut to reach your task manager is control alt delete button or you can have the taskbar go to the taskbar in the bottom right click you got the task manager i'll do it once don't worry okay so here is the like example i'm trying to show you so over here over here here is the task manager so taskbar right click you got the task manager over here just go to uh, here is the process available the application process which is which is shown to you is displayed at the top and there's some and the rest of the things are background processes so those process so you can see this particular task which i don't want it is running over there just i removed it right click and you can do this end task option you can see so how much cpu memory is taking memory it's taking so memory how much taking like a disk network the utilization of your particular process can be identified you can see it here my google chrome is taking more memory man oh my god so ruby interpreter i don't want this ruby interpreter man so it's running in my computer without my consciousness so you can see any other process unwanted process are running so this is how like if, if you find that that particular process looks bad or unknown just remove it just remove it because this may be it may be a virus it may be a virus we should be really careful we should be really careful so this is how we are able to identify the unwanted processes running in the task manager yes let's move on to viewing the windows services okay so the other thing is like see actually like we have seen the task bar task icons in boil startup and we have seen like a once in the running current running task i can see it and we can this is an another alternative to see what are the services or programs running it is similar to task manager it is similar to task manager okay so but task manager will tell you the current running things but windows services i can decide in future whether i want to run run the services or not so this is very very important one so it the windows services will have this kind of properties the service status we can start it we can pass it for a while pending or stopping it okay we can stop it okay service start mode automatically whether the service should start or manually we need to start it so afterwards once windows starting after windows starting some 10 or 15 minutes start it delay start or disable it and who is the service so whether the local account can start the service or local service can start it network service so you see my computer is there i'm logging into my computer venkat is a username and password is abc okay whether this particular logged in user because a computer can have multiple login you can have multiple login so which login user should activate this service have you seen it like uh, there are some software while installing while installing the software it will ask you a question whether you want this uh, software to be run by all users or by this user if i select all users this service can be started by anyone or else only this particular user can start it okay this is how your windows services are okay let's move on to the windows service so like you just go to uh, my uh, windows or run and over here just type it services.msc so my windows my computer is running these services now okay i'm clicking ok button now these are the services which is there in my computer the name you can see all the services are there and you can see the description of the services and status these are the services running now running now you can see the startup and login as okay you can see if you want to know the services so i'm trying to see looks like it's avas related services man mm, seeing the description and path we can identify so i'm checking out what the services is there any problem abctp what is that man 
this is audio video control transport protocol so it is uh, you know, i need it for audio and video i want these services okay so description and all because on seeing the display name i can't find and find what is the services so we need to see the description and other stuffs okay i'm going to google and search for this particular services so bth abctp service uh yeah looks like it is windows 10 services i guess okay so but uh, yeah if you want we can remove it yeah but it is not it is not a virus it is not a virus okay that's the one i'm trying to check it out okay it is not a virus so so like type these services in google.com so that you'll come to know say, what is this on this user server clipboard scenarios oh clipboard copy paste this is we want this one we want this one any other any other so just scrolling i'm trying to scroll down cdp user svc this user service is for connected devices platform scenarios we want it for network services so these are the services running in my computers you can see the status of running in the computer what is this man prim index maintenance indexes contact data for fast control searching i don't think i don't want the services for like I, I don't want this one so these are the startup type available automatic delayed start manual and disabling it so i if you want to start it you can start it or you can stop it yes you can do it okay this is how your services are okay so yeah as i told you services are nothing but what are the like what are the processes running in my computer what are the process i need to start what are the process i need to stop and apart from that like uh, whether we want to do it manually or whether it we should uh, it should do it automatically we can specify if i don't want that particular service i can disable the services okay this is how the services are this is very very important uh, step to identify whether my computer is secure or not yes uh, yeah more info on windows services i want to give more information on it yes over here uh, we can see like uh, this is a startup mode we can start stop it pause it resume it and here is the one automatic or something like that we can specify it here okay so yeah and apart from that like uh, log on on clicking this button log on you will be having this icon over here so whether you want to run it as a local system account if you click this one no problem whoever logging into this computer can access it this services will start or else only this particular user should start should only if this particular user logged into the computer this services should start i can specify it okay so if there is anything um yeah undocked profile so like uh, applicable for hardware based services if there is any hardware based services like uh, sir i got my webcam sir i got my mouse sir i got my keyboard so we need this information okay anyway the next one is like uh, if you talk about the recovery sir my services uh, failed sir my services is getting failed what i need to do first fail restart the service Second failure, once again restart the services. Subsequent failure, don't take action, man. Okay, sir, my services is trying to start. Windows is getting start. My service is getting start. First item, what should be done? Second item, what should be done? I'll, my Windows is trying to start the service. It's not getting started, man. The so third one, try it out. If it's not working, leave it, man. Okay, so such kind of options are there in this recovery. And finally, dependencies. Sir, to run these services, I want this file, sir. To run these services, I want that service, sir. So we will have the dependencies. See, actually, I'm not sure whether you have seen it or not. Avas antivirus, it got three to four services, man. Only first service this should start. And based on that, another service should start. Based on that, another service should start. Sir, first service is not starting, sir. Second service won't get started, man. Dependencies, very, very important. Okay, so these are the th important points we should understand about the services. Now, let's talk about the antivirus. Okay, sir, services we have started and uh, like, uh, see, once the Windows is getting started, this is getting executed. While entering, in, the virus is entering into my computer, sir. Can I prevent it that at a short, sir? That time itself I need to remove it. Once the virus entered into my computer, and once it started, then only it will be listed in the task manager or services. 
Are you able to understand? But I don't want it to enter into my computer, sir. Antivirus play a very important role. So here is the antivirus. So antivirus will safeguard your computer and prevent it from the viruses, worms and malwares. Okay, so let's talk about this antivirus. So I got my free antivirus Avas. You can see this Avas. So this is a free antivirus available. So I took a free antivirus uh, installed in my computer. I don't want unwanted stuff. So you can remove this. Thing. So once you perform, your computer performance is very slow. So remove unwanted things over there which will increase your performance on the computer okay yes um, yeah the computer is protected and here's my ip address and everything is there. so you can see in the bottom it will the antivirus itself will tell you like what are the uh, privacy checks what are the things we need to work it out to resolve our problem okay you can see there are a lot of options available you can have any kind of antivirus i'm using a free version of uh, avas antivirus here and i'm trying to scan it so no browser threats found so frequently just have this scanning methodology so so that like uh, your computers will be secure because every time like uh, uh, most of the times like your computer should be scanned should be scanned for viruses and other stuff okay so yeah you can see so outdated apps oh my god so we need to focus on this one you can see the browser that is having a tick mark that's good man bro the outdated apps is a problem man and now it's taking for the viruses and malware in my computers so it's working out so we need to work for we need to wait for a while sorry for that yeah it will take some couple of minutes to scan all the wires or to scan for the viruses and other stuffs okay it is scanning the all oh my there is no viruses or malware in my computer that's really a good thing is there any performance issues because of your particular software considering i have installed some java or any other software whether it is having an impact in the performance of the computer or not can be evaluated with this antivirus itself Okay, so antivirus is providing all these stuff to us. Additional, not only like a viruses, it is telling you the outdated apps also. Why is there outdated apps? Because I created a software. I created a software performance issues there. That's good, man. Okay, let's see what is the problem. I'm clicking next. Oh, WinRAR. WinRAR version 5.9 is there, but 6 version is there, man. Okay, one, I can install it. Okay, so why is there antivirus? Need to check for the virus, sir. Why this stupid guy is looking for the outdated apps are because I created a software and I gave to everyone, hey, you can use my software, man. I gave this software to you. But the problem is like the software is vulnerable to attack. Vulnerable to I found it. Oh my god, it is vulnerable to attack, man. So I will give an another software with a patch. With the patches. Another version of this antivirus automatically we so that anti that out that the recent package recent patches will resolve the like uh, security issues okay that's how you're so so we should we should be really careful with this outdated apps also and performance issues see the software may have a performance issue but there is a considerable way of performance issue the computer is dying man it's not a like a functionality of the software so something is wrong so these are the things an antivirus will check it out now let's talk about the malware so what is malware and how we are going to prevent this malware malware is nothing but it will it will be spreading via the networks once a malware is injected into one computer via the network it will move on to the, the rest of the network so that's the biggest problem of malware so we should be really careful and we have to prevent this malware so for preventing malware there are a lot of varieties of software so i'm suggesting a software that is malware bytes okay so this is one of the powerful software which will resolve the malware available in your computer okay so i'm trying to like i already installed this malware so just go to google and search for this malware and if you want you can i'm trying to scan it now you can see it here so a new version of malware is there yes i want this new version the reason is like it will have a lot of patches and everything right so i'm trying to insert so it will take some couple of minutes sorry for that yeah yeah like it looks fast man yeah my mal malware is here and it's trying to access it Yes, I'm trying to install the malware now. 
Uh, looks positive. It's getting installed. Sorry for that. Yeah, the malware is ready. I guess like it is installed. That's good, man. So I'm clicking the scan button to check whether any malwares are available. It will check for the uh, malwares. It will check for the C drive Windows folder because over there like you got a lot of things uh, happening. So, okay, so you got your C drive and Windows folder and you can see you can schedule the scan. It is a current scanning is happening. You can see scan duration 18 seconds gone. And yeah, it is asking for the upgrade and all. I don't have that option to upgrade. <laughs> so I'm taking the free version. So scan scheduler. If you want to, almost 800 files is scanned. That's good, man. So you can see checking for the updates, scanning the memory. Can be the 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 virus can be injected into the RAM or ROM or it can be into the hard disk or it can be like it can be the hard disk. So memory. So now it is scanning the entire memory. That's good man. Scanning the startup item already we have done it. <laughs> scanning the register. Oh that is very very important. We, I'm going to talk about this registry in my later video. Don't worry. This is very very important. One. Scanning the registry and scanning the file system. So it is trying to scan the entire systems. Okay so it is uh, like I think a uh, lot of time yeah over here you can see the scan scheduler so the second option is scan scheduler so in the scan scheduler you can see like uh, you can specify like hey every one hour once every two days once every midnight two o'clock or twelve o'clock just scan my computer okay so scan scheduler we can do it and you can have the reports generator okay this is how the malware bytes will work okay so there are some files of which which your malware, soft malware, anti malware or antivirus couldn't stop. Such kind of files is called a PUP, P -U -P files, yeah, potentially unwanted programs. So they are the software programs with no intention of downloading. See, actually, like, see, things like, um, I mean, I face this problem. I used to install one software. Are I, uh, it's installing some other software, man. So I'm installing one software, but in will insert, but it, it will install another software in the background. So such kind of programs are called as a potentially unwanted programs that is called a pups. You should be really careful. See, I installed A, B, C is a software. I'm trying to install it in the background. Some files will go and sit in the C drive. Are I installed this software. Why this file is entering into my C drive? That is called as potentially unwanted programs that will create lots of programs problems to you and this is one of the powerful powerful i'm recommending this powerful thing so that is called your adw cleaner so this is a powerful software you can use it so adw cleaner okay so it's like it's, you just go to google and search for adw cleaner automatically you will be getting this particular executable it's just not an installable it is just an executable Okay, so just click that ADW cleaner, you will get this one. Find the adware and you will pub files and unwanted software files. It's asking for an automatic update. So this is related to malware bytes itself. But you won't get it with malware bytes. You have to dedicatedly download this particular software, ADW cleaner. Okay, yeah, yeah, the software is installed. That's awesome, man. Okay, so the latest version of ADW is there in my computer. Looks good. Now I'll try to scan my computer. This is the most powerful software, most powerful. I, I rec personally recommend this software. It's free of cost. You can use it. So clicking the scan now, you can see 25 malware. It is detected in my computer. Shocking, shocking, man. Seriously shocking. Seriously shocking. It is trying to download the latest databases. What are the names and everything? It is trying to download from the internet and it will start scanning it. You can see the objects are getting scanned. It crossed almost 4,000, 5,000 files crossed. Probably it will be within some 30 seconds to 40 seconds, your computer is getting scanned and it will tell all kind of malware. <gasps> My God, I got an items detected. This one man, it is crucial. It's this guy will give you the entire things to you, man. So one file is getting affected. What could be the file man almost 24,000 files 25 26,000 files are scanned now within within 49 seconds awesome this software is damn fast man looks good let's hope I think it's completed that's crossing the results now I'm going to get which which particular thing is oh my god that is a pup file with a with a chrome extension 
in my google chrome this particular uh, unwanted file is created man i started clicking quarantine and i'm trying to delete it oh my god you can see these much number of files are there you go to go to the settings and everything you can just check it out and yeah this is how you, this particular adw cleaner is most powerful i personally recommend i personally use this software free of cost that's awesome software that's awesome software in identifying the malware and everything okay so you got a lot of options please check it out and use it yeah scanning is completed okay you got the, the display languages there you can specify which language you want and uh, yeah the interfaces if they're like yeah whether you want to start this one automatically if there is any file there this particular software is telling my important file as uh, virus or malware you can put it as a exclusion over here okay this is your adw cleaner very very important malware anti malware anti pup related software okay now let's talk about the firewalls so now everything you are talking about uh, uh, my computer right so can i have something before my computer while entering into the network itself let's stop it man what is firewall a program a program which will restrict in the router itself you don't know about the router just see my networking video router itself in the network itself stop it don't allow me to computer sir they're allowing me into my computer i'll stop it other firewall is it into the network i'll stop it firewall is it and before the network itself i can stop firewall is there it's called as firewall firewall is a powerful program or configuration it's a program configuration which will stop entering into your network itself not the computer okay that is called as firewall yes as i told you you can have a firewall if there's any problem it is getting removed that's good man that's good so this is how your firewall work okay you can see so before reaching your network or computers your firewall is there okay so this is how your firewall is you can have the firewall inside your computers or you can have the firewall before you can have before you can have multiple firewalls here okay i'm going to talk about those entire like types of firewalls and everything now okay so yeah you can see the data is coming here public network and here is a firewall if there is any problem it is removed and yeah specified traffic allowed i can i can tell hey only these two people can access my network third guy don't access it. filtering ip filtering okay traffic filtering packet filtering can be achieved so unwanted traffic will be removed and the only the rest correct the, the perfect guys can enter and access the secure private network okay this is how your firewall works yeah here is the one i'm trying to show you the firewall in my computer just i'm searching for firewall and network protection you can see your firewall the domain network the firewall is on firewall is on in the private network public network so wherever which network we are using so i want the firewall to be on so if i want a specific app should like uh, should be should not be restricted i can specify the advanced concept of the latest version of firewall is called as windows defender okay this is kind of a yeah, antivirus kind of uh, firewall which will take care so firewall that is an another name a dedicated software a dedicated software okay to make this firewall happen is called as windows defender okay if i want to permit an app okay permit an app with a firewall the firewall is restricting this particular application sir but i want this application to run in that case you can specify this particular application please leave them let them come sir only employees should come into my computer sir that is a firewall is created ah my relative sir one one person can come so this is how i can like i can have exclusion and you got the like a network issues like if you got any network issues you can you can troubleshoot it using this particular options so this is no way related to my computer like uh, my uh, uh, computer security or computer hacking but still like uh, what are the things i'm having it i'm trying to tell you okay you can see so these are the options available find and fixing other problems if there is any hardware issues you can troubleshoot it in this particular area okay incoming connections keyboard network adapter power problem whatever things you got hardware keyboard 
yeah network adapter my network is not working so whatever problem you got it automatically so windows got an automatic troubleshooter there is any problem sir my my keyboard is not working because of hacking sir and now you can troubleshoot it and resolve the problem so no need to do it because it's a closed code it's on the open source code so it's a closed code it got a lot of additional features to resolve your hardware problem so whenever you got your hardware problem go here solve it okay because your uh, hackers will create a lot of problem in uh, uh, like in uh, like uh, in making your hardware uh, like uh, in trouble like uh, make, creating troubles to your hardware okay and here is the internet connection so like if there is any trouble like trouble with my internet connectivity also i can troubleshoot it okay this is how your uh, uh, settings are there okay in the left side you can see windows update delivery options windows security so yeah as uh, so there is an audio problem in my computer man i'm trying to troubleshoot it yes it is detecting the problem and it will try to help you and support you turn off the sound effects and enhance one it is suggesting you man so what is the problem so this is a suggestion yes so open my audio uh one like uh, to troubleshoot it it is it is suggesting like what you need to do to make your hardware functioning to make your hardware like uh, working perfectly okay this is how your troubleshooting your hardware works yes i'm trying to play to see whether uh, everything is good or not looks positive man I don't have any problem with my hardware now. Yes, so this is how your troubleshooting will work. Okay, so my printer, I want to troubleshoot it. Yes, you can troubleshoot it. And Windows update is very, very important option you should understand. Windows update, yeah, in this left side, yeah. So, like, sir, whether you, I want the Windows update, sir, I don't want the Windows update now, sir. You can pass it. You are not up to date. Oh my God. So um, I don't have uh, my uh, up-to-date uh, windows. So I, if you want, I can uh, pass this update. I don't want this update here. On clicking resume updates, it will start downloading all the windows versions and it will try to fix it. Okay, I'm clicking advanced option. Over here, I can specify how many days I want the windows should be passed. So don't do this thing, sir. Because every time your windows should get updated, then only like if there is any issues, recent uh, uh, viruses injected my windows will take care of resolving it okay so windows updates and everything is it so this is how it will work yes uh, i think uh, i didn't talk about firewall yes now it's time for me to share your great news like uh, we got a lot of uh, interview questions in ethical like in cyber security field so if you are looking for any interview questions before going for an interview just go to this particular link and uh, prepare for the interview also so here is a link hashivinfrag.com slash l iphone hacking iphone in chennai okay just go to this one like you just crawl down to the bottom you are able to see you are able to see yes you are able to see the ethical hacking tutorials here interview questions and answers you can use this one. Yes, like uh, before going ahead, like I want to share a great news. So there are people, they used to ask me a question, sir, I didn't get a job, sir. Carry a break, sir. I don't know how to project my profile, sir. I don't know what ne I need to do. I got earlier, sir, what I can do. The one option to get into, into a job is internship. Go for internship. So our company, Kashi Info, we are providing online internships and offline internship. Internship in the sense, gaining experience and learning okay so this is a very important shortcut to enter into your job so just use this opportunity and cash in product our company we are providing lots of animated technological courses via online and also offline if you're really interested you can contact me at any time i'm ready to help you so we got ethical hacking courses python machine learning and data science java android web designing we are cloud competing with aws and apart from the develop devops full stack development and if you're a mechanical or civil kind of guy we got 3d modeling autocad designs and solidworks kta if you're an electronics guy we got vlsa embedded robotics iot 
we got lots and lots of technology with us. If you're really interested, you can contact me. So we got the training languages in English and Tamil, 100% practical training with a recognized certificate we are providing. Uh, every, the, most of the trainings are 3D-based animated trainings. And here is a program days. We got 10 days and 20 days program. The registration link is here. You can use it. And apart from that, recently we launched a four bundle package with the ethical hacking, Python, machine learning and data science complete technology in one package so if you're really interested just contact us we are ready to help you most of the people used to ask me a question sir what your company is sir what you people are doing sir so we are providing career guidance treat me as your brother don't join my company i don't want that one so you can call me you can ask doubts project your profile i'm ready to guide you free of course and if you want to learn learn from me yes yes i can help you we are providing internships in plan training we got mini projects find your projects software development and website creation so our company kashi infotech is providing lots and lots to you just utilize our company let's move on to the technology once again like we are going to talk about the firewall types oh yo we got lots of different types of firewalls packet filtering what packet Sir, this can be a particular packet. I can permit, sir. This can be a particular packet. I should not permit, sir. If the packet contains the word hacking, uh, throw it away, man. Packet filtering firewall. Circuit level. In the network itself, I will try to reject it. Stateful inspection. So, while coming into the system, I will try to identify. Application level gateways. Sir, my website is a cache info. My website is a... While uh, entering the cache info, you have to... Well, access via some other server no need to directly access your server you need a bypassing a proxy person in the mid he will be reporting uh, like you uh, i'm the proxy guy you want to access cache info tag. tell to me what you want cache info tag, huh? wait cache info tag, give it to me yeah here is cache info tag. what else you want oh wiki tiki you want huh? yes Wiki Tiki, just give it to me. Yes. So this guy can't directly access that guy. He will be accessing via me. That is your like application level gateways and proxy firewalls, software level firewalls, hardware level firewalls, and cloud firewalls. These are the varieties of firewalls available. Let's move on. The first one is packet filtering software. So like I can have your router or some intermediate hardware which will tell you whether this guy can go or not. So this is restricted and this IP address is permitted. It can be an IP filtering or it can be a, like a packet filtering hard firewall. Okay, this can be achieved via the routers. So just go to me. Yeah, I don't have First floor. Yeah, for the hardware, you can restrict it. So this is how your packet filtering firewalls will be. And network firewall in the network valid user, yes, enter the unwired invalid user, just go away, man. Okay, this is how your network firewall will be there. So that is called a circuit level gateways. Verify the transmission control protocol. This TCP handshake check is designed to make sure the session, the packet is from a legitimate users. That is how your network firewall will be. And here is a stateful inspection firewall. Post 10.10 but deny to access this guy. And this is allowed to access. So verify the transmission control, control protocol handshake. Verify the packet. So first thing like this guy want to access this guy. In that case, he will be sending a request. And if this guy is responding, perfect not responding no problem man that guy is not permitted into the system okay that guy is not permitted so over here you can see this guy is sending a message this guy is not sending a message to this guy this guy is sending a message here the unwanted rest unwanted request from a dummy or a fake server is restricted by this stateful firewall so like uh, you will be sending getting a message you'll be getting a message uh, from the banks and all can you see in the browser go to the browser type your bank name abc.com bank name is abc.com in the left side in the left side you will be having a lock in the in the like uh, in the address bar 
in the address bar of the browser you can see the log it indicates that the server the website is secure okay sending so I'm, I'm the guy venkat i want to access this bank.example.com i'll be sending a request and if there is a proper response then it is good i didn't send any request but this guy is responding man then it will be restricted by the stateful firewall now as i told you like if we got the proxy firewall instead of this guy wants to this guy wants to access this particular application he will be there will be a intermediate person intermediate person a http request will go here and http examined this guy will validate okay this guy is a valid request man it will go here and afterwards your response will go and from here so this guy can't access this guy directly via this guy the access will be happening that is called as proxy proxy okay proxy okay now this is your application firewall okay the user is there the user requests a web application the web application itself it will have a firewall just go to wikitiki.com wikitiki.com we got some advertisement in my website so if you got any ad blocker or something automatically it will tell you hey if you want to access my website disable your ad ad blocker something like that okay so web application the application will have a firewall to tell you if you want to access my website this is the condition man if you satisfy my condition access my website don't don't don't, don't access my website that is called as a firewall created by the application is called application firewall you can see it here the request will come this is the application and this application firewall will restrict you it won't permit you to enter that's how like your software firewall or application firewall will work and the final one is your cloud firewall so to access this website you need an intermediate cloud firewall cloud firewall when this guy so if there is any hackers or ddos denial of service attack or something like this automatically the cloud firewall will restrict straight away go away go away don't come and enter okay that is how so it's, it's a proxy firewall but it's a cloud server that is called is called cloud firewall and here is a typical example of cloud firewall which 99 percent of the companies are using and cash in for we are using cloudflat.com so this is this guy is so if you want to access my website via cloudflare only you will access me that is how your cloud firewall will work okay i think you will learn a lot of things and here's my instagram account to like uh, contact me and uh, apart from the like uh, our company kashu infotech we are providing online and offline internships and if you're looking for ethical hacking courses internship or projects you can contact me at any time here is a website here is a contact number and i'll provide the links so the course links the internship links and in plan links are given so i'll put these things in the description also do not worry hope you enjoy my session and uh, i request your people to share about the program to your friends and everyone here's my online internships and offline internships available at my chennai office and uh, if you want to help me please share my video to your friends and everyone and it's time for me to say a goodbye to you thank you this is venkat signing off from wiki techie and cash in photo and here is the latest courses available in my company if you are really interested please contact me or you can share to your friends and everyone bye thank you